Oh, actually, there, I just came in. Phew, this must have just happened. Uh, Bob is bringing up cores. Oh, this is too late for me to look at it or rate it, but what's happening with cores here? This must have just happened. Yeah. Man. Really slim pickings today here, people. Now, it looks like this just got like five minutes ago. Let me look up the reason for this. Looks like cores is a downgrade. No, it's not a downgrade. time to read this. It does look better than anything else. Here, give me a minute. Let's see how fast I can do this. Raider here today. All right, let's do cores. And I don't have any numbers for it, but I speed rated it. <laughs> we got three minutes here. Nothing else looks good enough. So you have to go with me on this one here. So cores. If you want to get set up to do cores. Not talking a lot here, people, because I have to focus. Okay, I'm going to do cores. I, nothing else looks that great. I did rate a couple things. You could watch a CTXS. I think it's going to be sloppy. Be here observing, just observe. I don't know if cores sets up. If it doesn't, I'm probably doing nothing today, which is fine. Good day yesterday. Should have a strong week. Not that many gaps today, and what there is isn't that great. There's nothing you can do about it. Market's in a weird positioning here, which probably has a lot to do with the fact that there's not a lot of good quality gaps. This is going to be tough. The volume did come into this. Spread monster, I think that's going to be hard to trade. This, I just don't like, even though it could work. Snap, I can't get. Can anybody get the snap? I should check my email. I did request it, but it's really late now. So, forget it. It's just too late, even if I can get it. I'm gonna focus on cores. Can anybody get snap? I requested it, but if it happens, you know, if I get it after the open, who cares? I kind of requested it a little late, but I assumed that I would have it.
Good luck, everyone. See what happens with this. See if it holds. Holds and drops. There'll be a snap, all right, but I'm good. Fine. Here, course, pay attention. Let the volume come into this. Way too thin right now to do anything. Just, this has to get the volume. Way too thin, 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 thin. Let's just wait. Let's look at the others. This is trying to go. Wow, look how spready that is. CTXS is trying to go. I'm going to stay away from this. It did rate good enough. It did get the volume. It's very spready. It's going to try to go. Snap is going to fall to zero. <laughs> if not today, relatively soon, as if you couldn't predict that. You could predict that. We'll talk about that when we're done. No volume here in the CUDA either. Vox. No, don't like this. Let's go back to fours. All right, there's nothing wrong with this, but it has to wait to get the volume course. Watching this. Back, let's look at the market. Market's gonna try to hold. Could be a weak hold today. A and F, lay off this for now. Look at this, this is really, it's a shame. So nobody could get it, wow. Okay, Michael, of course, we're watching no volume here. So we're waiting, and we're waiting very patiently. But it's early. Okay. This is a late gapper, that's why it really doesn't have volume. It's the main reason. Okay, cores, we're waiting to see if it sets up with volume, which it hasn't yet. There's nothing else to do. Nope, this is flipping. This looks insane. Nobody can get that one. Market's gonna market's gonna hold. All right, let's go back to cores. Okay, wait, 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 wait. I do think this works as long as it gets going here. <sighs> here we go. Here, there we go. There's the volume. All right, here we go. Look at that one bar. Okay, cores. All right, as soon as I get an entry in this, I'm going to call it. Here's the volume coming into it. We couldn't have, we couldn't have done it until it started to move. Here, cores. Woo. Actually, I think this is the open. I don't think this was the open. I think this was the open here. Okay, now it's going without us. Cores. So didn't call a trade in this, didn't do anything, and it waited for the volume. The volume's coming in, and the sell-off, I think this was a late open. So here the volume came right in, and then it collapsed. So if this sets up, I'm going to do it. It's good. Rated it, looked good, but it had no volume. Now it's moving. It just had a huge move. It's too bad this didn't have volume in here. We would have been in this move. It's a late gap, though. That was a problem. Let's see if we can get a trade in it. All right, let's see if we can get a trading course. Stop's going to be 35.30, and I have no idea what the entry is going to be, and don't jump the gun on this. I hope we can get in. If not, we're not doing anything, though. Let's just see.
Thank you for Coors, you did it. I, 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 I didn't call it Best Trader. If you did that on there, that was very aggressive with the lack of volume in it. If you did it, obviously you're up. It's just too low volume for me. And let's just see. If we don't get any pushback here, though, I'm not gonna get the trade. We did it on your own, though, and just took it. I don't know where you put the stop. Oh, we might not get it. You people all did this? Wow, you're getting really aggressive. Here, it's going, but it didn't have any volume. There was like 20 some thousand shares in here. Two of you did this with that little volume? It is working, that's true. The gap was good, but it could have had a huge spike up. Wow, some of you are getting really aggressive when I say I like things. I mean, it worked out here, but I'm not in this trade. I, how could I do it on that little volume? If you did this, you made money, but it was so, so risky. No, I'm not in it, and I might not get it. It was just a late gap, fell out of nowhere. So nobody notices it, it doesn't have any pre-market volume, you know? Nope, doesn't look like we're gonna get it. Yeah, the New, York, the New York City Bob is the one that saw it. If he wouldn't have put it in the room, I wouldn't have even looked at it. I very quickly rated it. I don't even know if Bob rated it, he just saw it. But I very quickly rated it. I wouldn't have even been looking at this. But if it doesn't set up, I'm not going to get a trade in it. It may not set up. One good thing though, it does have a lot of target, so but I it may just keep falling. Nice move on my discipline to wait for volume will pay off over time. It always pays off, smooth trader. I learned that early on. I really learned that at the very beginning of my trading. Chief did it too. Wow. I can't believe how many of you did this without that, with the volume there. I seriously can't believe it. I mean, obviously all of you made money, but. Let's just focus here on this because I, I might get a trade in this and we all might get to do it, but I'll review when we're done here or if I don't do it, why it was not a good idea to do it. <clears throat> you made 960 bucks, wow. Okay, I'm waiting. So I have no entry, no stop. What I gave you before was off even for the stop because it's had another big move down. You just have to wait. And if you're following me, that's exactly what you're doing. Let's see if it holds back here. I don't think 34 is out of the woods for this, but that's it's not that far away. No, we're not going to get it. It's just going to keep selling off. No, nope, we're not going to get it. It's not pushing back. So I'm just going to talk. It's, it's off. It's not going to push back. And the reason it's not going to push back is because no one's short in this to cover. That's why. It's not pushing back, it just opened and sold off and there's no way to do the trade without any volume. So the volume came in in the sell off, that's why we didn't do it. If I'd taken four or 5,000 shares in it, I would have estimated the stop. I may or may not have gotten filled if it blow me on through and it would have been 25% of the volume in the stop. I don't think this sets up. No one's really in the short, no one noticed it. I didn't even notice it. Bob put it in the room two minutes before the open. It had no volume, that's why no one saw it. It wasn't on the scanner and I don't think it pushes back and there's no setup in here unless you want to short and put the stop over the high of the day a dollar and a half away so I don't think we're gonna get it I mean I'm, I'm gonna sit here and stare at it and watch it for five more minutes till 945 but I don't think it I think I don't think we're gonna get a trade in it the, the only way you have a pushback is if you have covering no one's gonna go long this it's a good short it's a good short in the long-term trend it worked so if you did it very aggressively we'll go over why that wasn't a good idea 
But in the end, I'm, uh, you know, I, I made the right call here for myself. I don't think it pushes back. You don't have any green unless people buy or cover on a short position. And who would have shorted this? You would have just been selling into the open. This is straight down selling action, not shorting. Nope, we're not gonna get a trade in it, which is fine. I was prepared to only do one thing today, but then it never got the volume or setup right, which is CTXS. And if Bod hadn't been in here, and actually this never set up, if Bod hadn't put, put in cores, I wouldn't have even watched it or rated it. I don't think we're gonna get it. Uh, no one could get the snap. Did, what did that end up doing? Snap did set up. It was too late for me to check about the snap. I requested it. This did set up. No one could get it. I don't think anybody could probably get that today. If I can get it, I bet it'll be late. Kuda didn't set up. Vox didn't set up. Coors was the only one, which did rate well. And here it goes, the 34, the target. Coors. Yeah, had a good day yesterday. Here, let's just go over it because we're not going to get to trade it. If you, did the, if you follow your rules and you know how to do the trades with me, then you listen to me and you didn't do anything today. So anyways, I would not have seen this if Bob wouldn't have put it in the room. Why? Late gapper. In fact, let's put up the pre-market data just to see it. 9.13 is way too late. Way, way too late for me to look at anything. 17 minutes for the open and no volume in here even to speak of. I did look at the chart, decided to rate it on the fly very quickly in a couple seconds and said this is good. Unfortunately, Here's the open, here is this. I don't even know if it's really open here. I think it opened here. Here's the volume coming in and then literally you would have had to be right on top of it here to get it with the stop over the high. And if you did it and got this move, you made money. So there was a bunch of people in here that did it. But I'm not sure where you people put the stop. But I looked at it. Prior to this, the volume was like 20 some thousand. Here's where the mall, the volume came in and then it broke. So anyways, you know, I would have been a huge percentage of in the stock, which would have been a terrible idea, not knowing, of course, that this would happen. Let's see what this goes, 3411. Well, you know, you just, you, there's nothing you can say. I mean, it just didn't set up right. I'm still watching it, but it doesn't look like it's going to. I'll still keep watching it, but. Actually, it's interesting. This looks a lot like A&F yesterday. A&F we were right on top of and had the volume. So we got the trade, but A&F straight sold off. If you didn't aggressively do that trade with me yesterday, you didn't get it. It never let, it never pushed back. ANF literally sold off straight down all day, was dead as a doornail, but we were all on top of it. And, you know, and so we, we shorted the selling action. Today, you cannot get a position in something before the volume's into it, or it could get hurt. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't have it. I haven't checked my emails, but sometimes they come in late. It's, it doesn't matter. It's neither here nor there. If I, don't, if I don't know I can get something, like, at least by 9.15, then my mind is kind of made up. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to keep watching this because there's a chance we could still get a trade in it. But I don't know. So I'm really not going to do anything else. I'm not completely off of this yet, that we might get something in this. Some people just did it. I'm not completely giving up on my day. I'm just telling you. We don't get a trade in this. It's not the end of the world, people. Okay, let's do 19 by 65. We are gonna get a trade in this if you want it. 19 by 65 cores. 19 by 65 cores and that's not half out of a stop. And don't take it until it hits because it could set up differently. 19 by 65 cores. I'll look at all your questions later. There's really nothing else to do except for this, and if, if it sets up, we're going to do it. It still has a dollar plus target. 33 this could get to today. Here, maybe we'll get something better.
Here, I'm giving you something different. 25 by 85, we're gonna do. 25 by 85. 25 by 85 cores. Here, get it, get it right now. 25, just get it. Get the stop in, 85. Here it is, cores, right now. Quickly down one, push to the low, and I'm out. I almost wasn't gonna do it. Here, cores, it didn't get to 34. Pay attention, pay attention, pay attention. Here, here it is, cores, cores, cores. Eighty-five. Here, 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 course. We weren't going to do anything today because there's n everything else I looked at, nothing even looks right. So we're going to take what we can get in this and we follow our rules. Under the low is 34.11. We want to watch it at 34, but I think it breaks it. Here, course, you could be in it. If you didn't do it, you could do it here. Put the stop at 85. I thought that was going to collapse right in there, but it did hit. Heck, let me look at the market. Do have time. Okay, market's going nowhere, nowhere, nowhere. Her hair. Yes. Kuda, what could you possibly want to do in this, Chief? It is a failure. Don't touch that with a 10 foot pole. Course, course, if you wanna do it, you're in it now. If you did it earlier, it was a kamikaze. You did the proper trade with me, stops 85, be in it. Let's see if we can go with this. If it breaks the low, 33.80, and that's it. And we're out. Today was slow. Yesterday was busy out of nowhere. We had a good one. And then today, there wasn't that much. So this is life. Here, cores. Here, yes, 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 yes. Cores. Is everybody in it? Cores under the low. We're going to get it. Jeez, Louise. And I almost said forget my day because it's just, it's just not a good idea to chase something. It is a horrible idea to chase something. It's the worst. Mark Mobile says it's his luck. For cores? 34, really, but I don't think this is going to break the low and bounce like a crazy person. So the low is 34.11. I do not think this gets to 34.11 and then drops 11 cents and then bounces back. So I'm saying 33.80 because I think if it hits 34, it's going to go and break and go, choo, and then we'll get out. We're going to get out and push through the break of the whole number, and we'll take it and be done. And that's life. And then we'll go over what happened here. We'll go over all the other ones. Oh, you weren't here yesterday? That's right. I don't know what that means. Don't start thinking that you're bad luck or that you miss every good day. I don't know where that's coming from. No, two to four cents is not spready. 30 cents is spreading, 15 cents is spreading. No, 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 no. This is fine. This is normal. Smooth Trader says good vibes only. Here we go, course under the low. Here, here it is. Oh, my Lanta. And I almost didn't do it. Here, course. Well, you've got Bob to thank for this one. But I was a speed raider. Here, course under the low. All right, hand to the button. Here we go. Then we'll redo it. Melissa, more proves that we need you every day. <laughs> Gator. I'm not going anywhere. You act like I'm moving to France. I'm not going anywhere. Here, pay attention. We have to break the low. 3411, 3411, I'm just saying I'm working on many, many exciting projects that you know, are going to take up some of my time, and there's only one me. You could have gotten out of a smidgen of that there. You could have scalped a little there. I do believe it breaks it, but it did just touch that low and didn't break it. You're going to have to be a little bit patient. 15 minute looks amazing. I wouldn't still be in it, but you could 
You could have gotten out of a half a smidgen of, you could have scalped that. Here, here we go, through the low course. Beautiful, here it goes, here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Hope everybody got it. Here, here it goes, under 34. If it doesn't do it, I'm out. But I think it does. I think it, think it, think it. In fact, that just gave me an idea. That whole snap. Just gave me a whole nother idea. Here, course. Beautiful, excellent, amazing. Here it goes, here. Oh, come on, come on. I really think this keeps going. If you wanna take it, you can. Crap, crap, crap. I thought that was gonna break it harder. Let me just look at something here. Literally, if this doesn't go here, I'm going to have to take it. It only broke it by a penny. It was a target. I really thought it was going to keep going. Ah, shoot. No, oh, I'm still in it. All right, I'm trying to stay with it a little bit longer here. I kind of wish I would have taken it, but we have the stop at a really good placement. Here, of course, come on. You can do it. Here. Here, 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 this is it. This is it, I'm not letting it get away from me now, of course. Yes, car guy. I don't know what time you came in. It must be late. Here, everybody. No, it didn't do it yet. It didn't do it yet. Here, this is, come on. And my hand is on the button here. This is it. You know, if this, if this actually breaks it, it probably drops a dollar, just like this one here did. We'll get out of it and then I'll drop a dollar. Here, of course. <laughs> uh, zero expectations for the day after seeing the gap picks, so be happy to have some money.
I'm still on it. Anybody still on it with me? Is anyone still on chords with me? I mean, you could be out of it. I'm trying to decide what to do here right now. Smooth Trader still on it. I'm like, I'm like, just wonder if I should just take it. Here, chorus. Here we go. This is it. This is what I want to see. Chorus. Come on, do it. Some of you took it. That's okay. Almost one, two, 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 of course. This is it. That's what I wanted to see. This is it. This is it. This is it. If it doesn't break 90, I'm taking it. <gasps> there it is. Course. Here. There. I'm out. I'm out. I took it. I'm out. I took it. 80 was the target. Yes. <laughs> Giving myself a round of applause crap day and did extremely well there I would be out of it hallelujah no we were we were already in a diamond gym I don't I don't know what you've been doing here but we were in the trade we took we got out if you were in the trade you were getting out now you're not taking it now this was a short oh my gosh you guys are gonna make me flip a bird no you don't short this here we're exiting the train Diamond Jim, don't do anything if you're not in this trade. You missed it. Here, it's still trying to go. 33.87 was the low. You're bar by bar in it. Don't let it drop over or flip over 34. Do not let it rally over 34. Diamond Jim, if you did not do the trade, you missed it. I don't know what time you signed in. Here, under 87 is the low. Here, it's still going. If you were late, then you missed the trade. All right, let's go over it. But, I, you know, I'm out. All right, we did go over this earlier. Let's go over it again. Bottom line is, this was way too low volume. Volume came in here. I saw it, and then it went, Dit. some of you did it. I did not do it. I did not call it here because of the lack of volume, okay? So anyways, then I was like, okay, we're not going to get it. We're not going to get it. We're not going to get it. Anyways, some of you just took it. So fine, you made money. So I was waiting, 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 waiting to get a decent entry. Then we saw it. Really did a good job giving us the cushion. Okay, shorted this here. Diamond Jim, we shorted it here. Got the drop, got out. Target on this really could be 33 today, but it might be a stretch to have that happen in the morning. It's almost 10 o'clock. This fell out of nowhere. This probably sets up in the afternoon, late morning, early afternoon, Well, people will see this on the scanner. In fact, let's find out. I bet it's on the scanner now. So it was nowhere this morning. I bet it's on the scanner now somewhere. There it is. See, but this wasn't on the scanner this morning. So anyways, if you didn't get this trade, no, you can't do anything here. You will have to completely wait for it to reset up, which will be way after we close the room. So you must be here before 9.30 if you were here for the open house to do the trades. And you really shouldn't be trading anything anyways if you're just here on the open house. You should just be observing to see if the trade that I say that we're going to do works in the direction it's going, uh, which I predict, which this did, which I do all the time. I said cores was a short. Well, this, this was really very, I mean, this could have done anything here, smooth trader. And actually, for this stock, no. A 60 cent stop in cores, 50 cent stop plus in cores is not, is, is normal in this stock. Very, very normal. Okay. But anyways, this could have done anything here. I didn't want to be tight with it. Here, it's still going. Anybody still in the cores? Well, if it gets all the way down here, I think it breaks 80. In fact, I'll give you some targets if you're still in it. Some of you are still in it. I mean, 33. Yeah. After 33.80, $33. Here, let's look at the market. The market's going to hold. So I did predict that right. And even though the spy looks not as good as the Q's, I still think we hold. 
So we're just coming in here in a little bit of a cushion where we're gonna be snug as a bug in a rug and then we're gonna rally, which the cues are already doing. Let's look at some other things. Um, so no, if you're if you're not here, if you're not here before 9.30, you don't get any of my trades because I don't do any trades after 10. So that's what I do. And if you're not familiar with that, then you can go subscribe to my YouTube, watch some videos. I trade fast, quick, gapped in the morning. Anybody want to go over anything at all? I'd say it's, you know, it's 50-50. You take stuff without volume, you can get seriously hurt. You take stuff without volume, sometimes it works. But it's not worth it because the times when it doesn't work, you really can get hurt because you could not even get out. And so that's the, that's the problem. Wow, CMG is back around. I think everyone get out of this option. I think no one's, uh, no one's in it at all. And it's going to have the big monster, monster move under 400. Let's just look at this for some targets, even though I don't think anyone's in it. Ay, 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 ay. Yeah, here it goes. Look at that. In fact, let me just see if I could call something else in this here now. Here, let me just figure it out. I'm going to look at some things in this. Does anyone have any questions? I just want to look at some things about the... Oh, Green Maverick, I thought you got out of the CMG. What's your situation? I thought you took it. I mean, I thought you made money, you got out. What is today? Today is the 14th. Okay, does anyone have any other questions about anything? Um, it looks like Smooth Trader has a question here. And Koala Bear is in love with Toll. You keep asking about that. Hold on, let me look at Toll for Koala Bear and then I'll answer Smooth Trader's question. I wouldn't do any other trades today. If you did Quora's the first time, you got lucky. If you did it the second time, you made money. This is not even a good gap, Koala Bear. No, 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 no. This did have one move, I would have never done it. It wouldn't have rated well either. I would not short this. I don't know why it gapped. I'm not even sure if it had any volume. It didn't. I would not do anything with this, no. Mm. All right, let's go back to Smooth Trader says, do you ever pass in a trade if reward seems too low versus the risk? Yes, but that's not what I thought was the case here. So that's something that is subjective, okay? For example, am I going to risk a dollar if I think I'm going to make 20 cents, 10 cents, something like that? No. No. Am I going to risk 50 cents to make 25 cents or 50 cents to make 30 cents? Yes. So I don't have any hard, fast rules about it. You know, it's 
you know, you don't know exactly where this is going to go. I had the target, 34. Then I said 3380. Is it going to get to 3380 today? Probably yes. Do I know what time? No, I do not. Am I still in the trade? The answer is no. Okay. Could this get to $33 today? Yes, absolutely. In which case, that would be a really nice risk to reward trade. I have completely gotten away from that whole idea of the, of the number of R units in 2017. When I first, first started trading, it was something that I did learn and then I, and I did implement it myself and I did teach it. But even I personally struggled with that at times where I would be in trades and up money and then hold them too long and, 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 I, and I, but yet they would go to the target, but they wouldn't go to the target in the time that I wanted to be in and out of the trades. This very well could go to $33 today at 2.15 in the afternoon. And there's no way in hell I still want to be in this trade in 2.15. So it's just not worth it for me. Do you understand? It would reset up completely by then, even if it was going to go there. Okay? So as my risk amount monetarily has increased to a thousand bucks in many days more than that, I don't care anymore about having a certain number of risk units. I care about having consistency and high win ratio so that I make money and I believe everyone should so that you can make more. You increase your risk and you get it right more than you get it wrong. It's not about having huge massive massive R's and I'm realizing more and more how that has actually hurt uh, some people who do not exit their trades. It doesn't hurt me but some of you have still an issue with that and Galahad is one of those people. And I did talk about that years ago. And there are many days that these trades go on forever. ANF yesterday, let's just go back and look at this. Look at what this did yesterday. Look at this trade. I could have made 75 more cents in this or something like that. I mean, I don't know where I would have gotten out of it. I did not hold it. I didn't even hold it to 10. It went to almost 950. Did I cry? No. Did I care? The answer is no. Is it going today? Yes. But I got it right, and I made money, and I made my goal for the day. I ended on Monday, but I wasn't even thinking that I was going to do anything. Wow, this is really going today again, too. In fact, that's going to nine. Anyways, the point is that I realized that actually as a day trader, that philosophy, it sounds good. It sounds great. It, 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 it sounds amazing. But when you try to implement that, on a daily basis, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, through all of the periods of the year, which are some busy and some slow, it does not work. So the bottom line is, go with getting it right. Win. That's the answer. Get a high win ratio. Follow me. Do not try to make three, four, five R's in every trade. Many trades will work that way. You will have to hold some of them longer. I do not want to do it anymore. One car guy, you're having serious computer issues and I didn't see you yesterday. Was it because of your computer? If you have a high win percentage, you can risk more shares. Yes, that's how I look at it, but also you have to know what to do. So you still have to know what to do. That I would not have considered this out of the water here by, by anyone's means. It's, it's the idea of risking like a buck and then, and, and, or like a big stop. Like, I guess, I, I guess a dollar would be a big stop to me. So, like, uh, what was the one we looked at the other day and I was like, I was like, geez Louise. Orly, was that the one? Yes, it was this one here. And I was like, oh my gosh, I don't think I would have done this. But th this did end up actually going then and being a huge risk reward. And I was like, oh gosh, maybe this is something I would have done. Now, I was off last week, but I'm just saying, we looked at it and I was like, oh gosh, this really was perfect. Here. Oh, you were here yesterday? You did ANF? Oh, I didn't see you, car guy. Here, this one here, again, I was off last week, but somebody brought it up. You know, this kind of thing here. The problem is, if your stop is a monster stop, then you really have to get a big move. You don't have the choices. Actually, this wasn't even a monster stop. I, I, I was shocked. This was a dollar plus a cushion. I mean, but anyways, 
let's just say this, you know, a dollar normally is big for me. I don't normally trade this price point. But anyway, say we did a dollar. It's got to move, you know, really to get going. You know, so... I don't know. That's not, this isn't a rule. This is just, you know, it's up to you. It's subjective. It's not worked and no one could do it. What about this thing? Nope, flipped. Cores is still going. Is anyone in it? Here's a 3380 number. See, here again. It is going. This is probably going to go to 33. I can predict the move a stock's going to make. I can predict the move it's going to make in the end of the open. I can predict we're going to make money. I can predict the direction. I can predict the stock with a high level of accuracy. But I can't tell you that this is going to go to 3305 at 128 and 33 seconds in the afternoon today. I mean, that's absurd. So, I mean, seriously, you'd have to be a swami to figure that out. So, you know, when you know that you're in the trade and you know it hit the first target and you're watching, 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 and you know you're going to get it down and you're, you're on top of it. And I almost got out of it here. But then it broke here, I said, that's it. But look, see, it's still going. Is anyone still in it? Probably do bods. We probably regretted getting out of ANF yesterday. Here's course, here it goes, 33.75 is in sight. Is anyone still in it? It's gonna do what ANF did yesterday. The whole apparel industry is very, very weak. Sad. <laughs> Devaz is still in it. He's back to his normal self. Hold everything to zero. <laughs> Diamond Jim, the mindset is to get the max out of any trade, so trading for instant money is foreign to most traders. You just gave me another idea for another article. <laughs> It's a great concept. Listen, people. It's an amazing concept. It's like, it's like, uh, gosh, let me think of something that I can think of that would be a good example. Try to think of something that would be a good example to, to to say what I'm trying to say. Journey Women did a second trade on Coors. Good for you. I feel like something's burning. <sighs> There's someone smoking in the hallway again. I'm gonna have to go outside and check. Um, here, here it goes. Here, this is I don't this is I can find a better example than this, but I just want to make my point. If you took the subway to work every day, which I don't, thank God, but people do. I don't know how they can stand it. But if you if theoretically, okay, I'm just trying to make an example here. I can't think of anything better than this right now, but if I do, I'll I'll, I'll tell you tomorrow. Theoretically, are you used to from New Jersey? Theoretically, if you get on if you have to be at work by nine o'clock, theoretically, okay, if you you know, if you take the train every day by 8.15, you take the train, you get on the train, it takes 45 minutes to get down to Wall Street. Theoretically, you should get there in time for work every morning. That's the time the train comes. You're on time. You get it. Look at this here. Wow. It's going to try to break 70. Devon's still in it. Is he the only one? Here, it is going to break 70. Here it is. Here it is. It's going to go to 33. Anyways, theoretically, if you take the train every day at 8.15, you will get to work on time. Okay. Theoretically, if you can maximize every good gap and make three risk units in every good quality gap, which probably if I went back and actually tracked all of them, Probably 80% of them do on the day from 9.30 to 4, which I don't play all day. 
So probably, and I, I'd have to go back and track all the ones, but let's just say theoretically they did. So, so, so really if you held everyone to the target, you'd make three R's, you'd make more money. And theoretically, if you get the train every day by 8.15, you'll be at work on time by nine. But the problem is that sometimes things happen and there can be an accident on the train. And sometimes there's a flood and sometimes there's snow and sometimes they reroute you and sometimes they're doing construction, which is like actually all the time in New York. So theoretically, you, you could get to work at it, you could get to the train at 8.15 every day all summer, but they're calling it the summer of hell for commuters in New York because of the amount of construction they're doing in some in different places. I think, it was, I think it's a train, one of the trains of Long Island Railroad. Anyways, this will be delays every day. Theoretically, you <laughs> you don't know when you should get the go to go get what train you should get because theoretically the 8:15 may not get you to work any morning in the summer by nine. In fact, somebody on Twitter was saying that he should leave on a Sunday to get to work by Monday morning. <laughs> so theoretically, you know, theoretically, I can hold every every trade I take to make three R's. But I, I, I may not, or I may have to wait till all afternoon. I may not get anything done in the day. Uh, you know, a million things could happen. So, you know, it's just, it's, you have to kind of situate yourself and decide, I'm gonna get the trade right, I'm gonna make money, this is how much I'm risking, I've got the targets, I watch the time of the day, this is when I play, I don't need the market with me, I'm looking to flip my money around, 50% or 100% every day that I can. And that I can live with because I know that I can get in and out quickly. I'm less at risk. Yes, many days I go on farther. There are some days I hold trades. It's rare if I am in love with the gap or we do them twice. In the case of ANF yesterday, I never set up a second time. It just fell, fell, fell all day. I pretty much knew it was going to 10. I just wanted to get out because I didn't know what time it would get to 10. And also it was Monday and I was happy to make money. So, you know, in an ideal world, you could say, I will get to work by nine o'clock if I get the 815 train. But unfortunately, <laughs> I mean, there are things that happen living in New York. And, you, and, and right now you don't know what train you can take or what delays you will have to be able to get there by nine. So the thing is you better take the train at 7.30 or 7.45. You better try to take an earlier train you, 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 you know, you budget for the delays. Just like you're, you're up good money. You're, tr you're watching it, watching it, watching it. It breaks the low. It does a little tiny bouncy here. Uh, you're out. Now this did a big bounce here. It held, you could have lowered the stop here. I don't trade like that, but you could have. But this, you know, there again, this could have gone over the number. You have to remember, it's 9.32, from 9.32 for 20 minutes straight. Okay, this is trading down. Eventually, it's going to have some kind of pushback. But, you know, who knows when. But eventually it will. It's a big move. But, you know, in here we just didn't have it because no one was shorting it was a shame so it never got the I wanted this to get back up to 35 somewhere in here when I'm watching it I almost gave up on the trade and said we're not going to do it because I realized it wasn't going to get back to 35 somewhere in here as I was in my mind which you can't read I was like crap it's not going to get back up here but we did it you can put in whatever kind of stops you want as market orders or limit orders or whatever you want to do but I would put in a stop, it's what I call a hard stop, meaning it's not an imaginary stop. It's a real stop, it's an order that's sitting there that will be filled if it, if it hits through the number. If you don't put a stop in and you just say, well, I'll take it out if, if in my mind if it hits this, no, that's not a stop. A real stop is, boom, it's sitting there. If it gets hit, you are gonna be filled. Chief wants me to look at all of these. I'm not gonna look at all of these, but here I'll copy, I'll paste this for everyone else. This is from Chief. All 
right, so good day. Here, let's quickly look at the market. Look at this. Here we are, higher. In fact, this is a clean move higher in the SPY, or the Qs. SPY not so much, but nice move. Any questions from anyone about anything at all? Good day today. You can come back tomorrow to the open house. If you're interested in the Golden Gap Pass for this weekend, email me. Mountain Girl said nice day. Yes. We're going to have a strong week. Again, like Shower Singer says, I always trade extremely, extremely well after the vacations. <laughs> Any questions from anyone about anything at all? Well, we'll have a lot of stuff. I, it's, well, let's just say, earnings season really doesn't start until really, really Friday. Friday is all the banks. So next week will be the days we get like 30, 40, 50 things. But, but Friday is all the banks. So really Friday is earnings season. So we're, you know, just, we're just being very careful here. Go call Melissa, especially kind of on the fly. Yes. I'm good on the fly, but she, but the, the rule is don't do it. <laughs> and even I, I was, I did rate it. I was fast at the rating. <laughs> I was like, hurry, hurry, hurry. It's commercial on TV. Quick, rate it, Melissa. What do you think? <laughs> Where's course going? Go. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have an amazing day. We'll see what we get. Okie doke. You're welcome.